Hey YouTube, it's Matches860 with a bunch of lighters for your perusal. I really have to thank uh, Harvey over in South Korea for giving me this idea. He did a little uh, piece on lighters one day and I thought, hmm, might as well show mine off. So I got uh, some of the um, most interesting, I think. Um, I didn't bring all my Zippos out because, you know, once you've seen one, uh, especially the plain Zippos, I have like five or six of those. Um, we don't need to look at all those. At any rate, um, I'm going to start up in the corner with this promotional lighter that has the camel logo on it and these were probably given away uh, either you sent off for them or you got them in the store when you bought cigarettes I'm not really sure my dad had these and uh, they were never used I never used them and when I got these um, from him I just kind of put them on display and I have to give credit to even um, I'll put a link to his channel somewhere on the uh, description um, he had a question about repairing these and I recognized one of these lighters uh, when he posted it and I decided to check mine and it turns out all of these uh, type of lighters here's an Alpine I don't even think they sell Alpine anymore but anyway all of these were manufactured in Japan and since my dad had these they must have been either from the late 50s or early 60s and um, as I mentioned to even, uh, there is a way to get into these, but from the looks of the mechanism, there's nothing there that you can repair. And as I looked into this further, I found out that uh, I think only one of these will strike a spark. Uh, whatever gearing they use to turn the flint, uh, it's really cheap. But anyway, got those two. And then this is a little better quality lighter with the Salem logo. Uh, Zippo-like and manufactured by Zippo. But as you can see, compared to a regular Zippo, it's a slimmer design feels really great in the hand I kind of like it I'm surprised that they didn't make maybe they did make more and I just haven't seen them so I do have a bunch of these uh, there's probably a name for them uh, where you press this side and the other side opens up and supposedly lights but really doesn't <laughs> oh well one thing I never had any luck with were uh, the butanes that you fill yourself and I got a bunch of these uh, this one I think I got for being a best man in a wedding um, this thing won't even make a spark anymore but I never had any luck putting the butane in them for some reason they just didn't want to fill Uh, it's too bad too because that was a nice lighter I got for Christmas one year but anyway a few of those uh, another one this doesn't do anything either but you know you sort of keep this stuff around I don't even know what this one's supposed to do uh, it's got a wheel on the side eh. 
I don't know, probably made in Japan too. Anyway, those are those. Uh, this one here, I have three of these, uh, Winston Select, and it's got like a leather case around a Zippo light lighter, but when you pull this out, uh, you can tell from looking at it, this was also made in Japan. Um, but I actually carried one of these probably for like two years. Uh, I didn't bring that particular one out because it's pretty well beat, but uh, it did the job. Uh, this one here, the Zippo, was my dad's lighter that he carried for years, as I recall, growing up. Uh, so that's pretty special to me. He got it from a company that he worked for up in Boston. And uh, my pipe lighter Zippo, although it doesn't have the, uh, the pipe at top part there that's got the hole for lighting your pipe. Um, I've got it somewhere. I just didn't put it into this one. Uh, another one that I got at work for Christmas one year. And the crowning jewel my daughter and wife gave me for Christmas one year. This is the uh, Zippo car. And they had it engraved. And it came in a nice box. It's pretty cool. So those are the lighters. And then uh, I guess what got all this started was when Harvey was showing a permanent match. And I don't know where I got this, but it was one of those things that I think I found it, uh, brought it home and just put it in the display with my lighters. And when he was talking about permanent matches, I thought maybe that's what that thing is. And sure enough, uh, that's what it is. Uh, the question I got for Harvey though is, um, I can't see down inside this thing. I would assume there's like some kind of absorbent material for, uh, taking on lighter fluid uh, how much do you put in uh, is it going to leak out I don't know anything about it uh, so if you're watching Harvey just send me a quick little note will you so that's it for this thanks for watching and everybody take care